All right, welcome everyone. The purpose of this video is to teach you how to be able to upload your course to GitHub. For that purpose, first you need to go to your repositories and click on new. Give your repository a name. Let's say uh, testing upload. Let it be public and then click on create repository. All right, so you have created a repository which is online on GitHub. Now, what you need to do is you need to create a local repository first. So for that purpose, simply create a new project in IntelliJ. The project name can be anything. It doesn't have to be the same as your remote repository. Put in some code in there, just like S out, hello world. And now let's create a remote, a local repository for this. So all the process that we have already learned, I'm going to do them. So get in it to initialize, get add dot so that all the files are added to the staging area. Get commit dash M first commit and then get push dash U origin main. Now it's giving us an error, why? Because we have not connected our local repository with the remote one. We need to establish the connection. So what are the steps to establish the connection? The first step is that you need to run the command git branch dash m main. So I'm going to copy this and paste it over here, git branch dash m main. After that, I will go again to my remote repository and copy the command git remote add origin and the URL. Going to paste the command over here and run it. And the third step is to copy the last command, which is git push dash u origin main. All right, so before running this command, we have one more step that we need to do. GitHub, in order to be able to push your codes, wants you to authenticate yourself. In order to authenticate yourself, what you need to do is you need to generate some token. So for that purpose, you need to go to your settings, then go to scroll down and go to developer settings. Over here, you'll see personal access tokens. Click on token and then from over there, click on generate new token. It's going to ask you for your password and to read. All right, you can give the name to your token. Let's say upload token. The name can be anything. Expiration, set it to no expiration. Then check all the values, all the check boxes that are there. Make sure that you select them. then click on generate token. All right, 
you will see a token over here. You might need not see the previous tokens because you will be most probably setting this up for the first time. That's fine. Just make sure that you copy this token. This is important because it will be lost. Copy this token anywhere in a text file on your computer. Let's say I'm going to create a text file called token and I'm going to paste it here. And save this. All right, let's go back to our process on git bash. So open up your git bash and run the command git push dash u origin main. All right, so once you hit the enter, it's going to ask you sign in with your browser or sign in with a code. Click on sign in with your browser. Depending upon systems, you might not see this option. Mac users will not be able to see this option and some Windows user will also not be able to see this. For those people who see this option, please click on sign in with your browser and it's going to open something like this. You just need to refresh it and everything is done. You might also be prompted with a, with a green color window saying accept authentication. Please click on that and proceed. All right, after that, click on your repositories again and go to your testing upload. Over there, you'll see the files and the folders that you sent. 